G'day guys, I've had a few people ask me about how to plant pond plants, so I thought I'd do a quick video. The aim of the channel is to help out fellow pond hobbyists, mostly to save money and create lovely ponds or water features. If that's something that interests you, please hang around and subscribe. Anyway, here it's late autumn, the trees are shedding their leaves, my lilies have all disappeared, but the impatience are still holding on. When it comes to planting pond plants, the main questions I get is should I plant them in the gravel of the pond or in pots with gravel or pots with soil? I personally plant almost all of my pond plants directly into the gravel. There's two reasons why I do this. One, it looks really natural, softens the rock work, and two, it removes nutrients directly from the water. Basically, any marginals or trailing plants I put straight into the rock and gravel. These plants are planted in the shallow edges around the pond. These plants are all quite happy with their roots completely submerged. Even the annuals like the impatience um, I put straight into the gravel. Some submerged plants like eelgrass I also plant directly into the gravel. Other submerged plants like water lilies are a bit different but I'll talk about that in a minute. I also like to add plants directly to the filters. Whenever adding plants to the filters, I prefer shallow rooted plants that won't clog the filters quickly. Still, if you leave them unchecked, they will. Aim to thin out any plants in the filters at least once a year. I personally like to remove around 75% of the plant material in spring, right before everything starts going gangbusters. When you add plants directly into the gravel, it's important to wash off any soil that's on the roots when you buy or collect the plants. If you leave the soil on, it adds uh, nutrients to the water and that usually leads to problems with algae. If you live in really cold areas, you might like to plant your sensitive water plants into pots so that you can winter them more easily. You can still plant them into gravel, into the pot. Even in bare liner ponds, adding some pots with plants and gravel is a good way to soak up extra nutrients in the water. Floating plants are pretty straightforward. They just float on the surface with their roots dangling down, soaking up the nutrients. Some people like to add floating rafts to their ponds. This allows you to grow a more diverse range of plants like the marginals as floaters. This is not something I've done personally, uh, so I'll let you do your own research on that one. Now, water lilies and lotus are a little bit different. They're heavy feeders, so need quite a lot of nutrient to flower effectively. The water lilies in this pond are in small pots. The pots are filled with a heavy soil and gravel's added just over the top to prevent the soil floating into the water. I anchored the pots in with large stones when building the pond so that it looks as though they're just there growing in those pockets naturally. If you look closely, you can see the lip of the pot. Over in my aquascape pond, I'm trialing growing them directly in the rock and gravel. They didn't flower very much this year, but then again, there isn't very much silt build up in this pond at the moment. I'm also curious to give this a try to see how invasive they'll become over time. In their native environments, lilies and lotus are most commonly found in areas with very slow moving water, so areas where there's lots of sediment buildup. And as we know, sediment is nutrient rich, hence why these plants have evolved to become such heavy feeders. Because we often want to keep nutrient loads to a minimum in our backyard ponds, it can sometimes be necessary to feed the water lilies and the lotus. These tablets are pushed directly into where the root bowl is, whether that's in the gravel or in soil. Feeding at the beginning of spring and summer is when it's recommended. Anyway, that's about it for this video. So marginals and trailing plants and annuals can go directly into the gravel, while water lilies and lotus will perform better in soil. I hope that helps some of you out there. If it does, give me a thumbs up. And if you have any other questions, drop them down in the comments. Thanks for watching. See ya.